Got to tell you, I voted early, so it's too late to change my vote. <laughs> but that wasn't going to happen anyway. You know, I like to vote early. That way, even if I die before election day, I'm going to be voting just like all the other dead people who vote every election year. I used to say in Arkansas that if you don't get the cemetery vote, you're going to have a hard time getting elected. In fact, one reason I believe in the resurrection is because on election day, I'm used to seeing all the dead rise and go vote. <laughs> in my home county on election day years ago, two guys were in the cemetery taking names from tombstones so they could go down to the courthouse and vote those folks as absentee voters. <laughs> as one guy moved away from an old time-worn tombstone, his co-worker said, hey, did you get the name off that tombstone? His partner said, nah. It was so weather-worn, I couldn't make out the name. His friend said, you get back over, you come up with a name, because that fella has as much right to vote as anybody else in this cemetery. <laughs> you know, the only thing equal to a dead person voting is a living person not voting. <laughs> or a living person voting without having a clue what the candidates are really about. Might as well just give your ballot to a corpse. Because not voting is saying, ah, just do whatever you want. I don't care. If somebody says, I'm not going to vote, it's like saying, raise my taxes. So I'm paying more of the paycheck that I work for to the government, more than I even keep for my family. That's fine. It's like saying, open the borders and pay no attention to who's coming in and why. <laughs> well, sure, why not? It's saying, destroy my children's schools by focusing on politically correct policies of general-neutral bathrooms instead of math, science, language, and history. It's like saying, oh, treat the police like criminals and treat criminals better than you treat the victims of the crime. It's like saying, oh, just have a government that tramples on a citizen's right to free speech, freedom of religion, and the right to defend themselves against a criminal. You know... It's the equivalent of saying it's okay to kill a million babies a year while in their mother's womb and make me pay for the killings. Well, that's just about choice, right? But the baby never got a choice. And if the government decides that it wants your property for its own use to make money for itself or some developer, and it refuses to even pay you for your property, well, just consider that a donation to the government. And if elected officials take big cash payouts from lobbyists or unions, and they do just what those folks want, even if it adversely affects you and your family, well, hey, you said it's okay. You might even be saying, I'm sure they mean well. You see, not voting is a bad idea. But voting because you like someone's TV commercials or because they seem to have such a nice personality, that's sometimes really getting taken for a ride. Now, there are clear lines drawn in this year's elections. It doesn't matter if you like the candidate personally so much as that you are in agreement with where that candidate you vote for is going to take your community, your state, or your nation. Yeah. Just remember... <laughs> just remember that Bernie Madoff was a thief with a personality so convincing that he persuaded highly educated, wealthy people to give him their money. And they lost it all. Because if a politician promises you free college, free health care, guaranteed income for life, and an end to violence, but then advocates yelling at people in restaurants and gas stations and shopping centers, and has a record of using government agencies to destroy those who have a different point of view, and believes that if you're a person of faith, you just ought to keep your mouth shut and your mind shut and take down every cross, every statue, and every symbol that is offensive to somebody, then you ought to be smarter than the victims of Bernie Madoff. I'd put it this way, vote with some common sense. There is no free anything. Somebody's gotta pay for it. There can be no peace if we don't have the peacemakers of our military and our police agencies. And there will be no jobs if it costs so much to operate a business with high taxes and regulations that business has to leave America just to make something. I'm not saying you have to vote like me, although I sure wish you would. <laughs> But I would say, vote with your mind and your heart. 
Because unless both your mind and heart are dead, and then, well, you can just vote like all those other people in the cemetery <laughs> will be voting anyway. There you go. 